Hi guys, Dugger here with a new video and this video is a video about Dragonflight. I have stopped playing for now, like I said, season 4 is a kind of a filler season and I am just not a fan of those kinds of seasons. Uh, I love World of Warcraft still, I just can't give, get over myself to play the game. Um, but I have a few like suggestions to improve PvP, or at least like food for top. Because uh, again, I'm always thinking, and uh, World of Warcraft is like a big part of my life. So uh, I do feel like uh, daily I do have some ideas to say like, oh, guess if this happened, it would be better for the game, for example. Uh, I want to talk about just like purely random BGs right now, because and also random epic BGs, I guess. Those two queues are very long queues man they are like 10 minute average wait time you see at the bottom and yes it is the morning and yes it is because of that but i can guarantee you if i go on wrath of the lich king classic right now which is going to become cataclysm classic it is a two minute queue and the reason for that is they merged alliance and horde into the same group so it means that if you're doing random bgs you can play with Horde and with Alliance with no mercenary, and it doesn't matter. Uh, you can be Horde side, you can be Alliance side, your character is Alliance or Horde, it doesn't matter. So it means that everyone is in a big pool of players, so the matchmaking doesn't have to be perfect to get the groups going. Um, one thing I also have uh, seen is that they try to balance healers in random BGs, which is a good thing if you are looking in hand side, uh, because again, if you're facing two healers and you have zero healers, it is a bit painful. But the issue is that it balances out, but you can still like decline the queue, so you can still end up with two healers versus zero healers. But the queue times are very long, so instead of doing that, they could easily say, look, we're going to try to match 10 versus 10, same kind of MMR, because SBMM is also present in World of Warcraft, you have a hidden MMR, they try to uh, put you into the same kind of players, you're not going to play versus like 0, like level 1 honor level, for example, so... They are going to try to match you with the people that you are uh, most likely resembling. What they should do is purely, look, we have Horde and Alliance into one big pool. We're going to try to get healers versus healers. But if it's not happening, then it's not happening. We just want fast queues. So the limit would be two minutes and then the queue is going to pop no matter what. And that should happen. I think it is kind of stupid because that's something I have like a big problem with World of Warcraft is... Um, the queue times are very long for any activities, and it's not like they are no players, it just is that the queue times and the queues are very uh, specific and very, um, how can I say, um, discriminating? Not really, but like they try to have a set rules of um, of conditions happening to get a queue started. So you have to have, for example, two healers versus two healers. You have to have 10 alliance versus 10 horde. You should have also a map that is like available to play that map, for example, instead of a 15 versus 15, like in the Ratsy, for example. They're going to have like 10 players for Wars and Gulch, but like, again, there are like a few things that are like conditions which makes it a bit longer, and they should remove all restrictions to that. And another problem is pre-mains, and the truth is, pre-mains is very hard to combat because a lot of people are like on Discord and they are going to try to match groups um, to get like something going in Epic BGs, for example. And that's a big problem. A lot of people are talking with it um, to me about it, and uh, it, this should kind of like remove that. But the best way to remove that is make Alliance and Horde being able to be in one group. So th this cannot happen. You know why? Because if you're Alliance and your friend is Alliance, and then you get both a queue, you don't know if he is going to be Horde or Alliance. So the pre-mates are going to be gone from that point, because it's impossible to coordinate 40 players into one raid uh, while you know that your friends could be against you. And that's something, like, I know it is, like, immersion breaking because it's not faction versus faction, but it's the best way to combat pre-made because what they do is they're, like, 20 on pre-made on, on Discord. They have, like, a, a sort of a timer or whatever. 
like a add-on that says that whenever someone is getting a queue or like a pop if everyone gets a pop they enter at the same time if they don't get a pop then they're going to decline and try uh, try to, to to queue back again but like i said if alliance and horde are mixed you don't know if your friends on discord are going to be against you or with you so automatically pre mids are going to be a bit more scuffed and that play will be gone from the eyes of everyone and that's something that they should do also i think russian players like in eu should be mixed with eu players no matter what because then again uh, you don't have the same problems with um, like eu servers facing like a full-on 40 main, uh, 40 man russian like server against you that are on pre-made which i understand it's fun but it's not fun for like the other 40 players that are not pre-mates uh, those kind of battles are very one-sided and again if you mix alliance and horde this is not going to happen so you should do that so that's my first suggestion my second suggestion again uh, about like casual pvp because i think if you want to build up pvp again into a healthy basis you need to also help the casual base and i think if the zones again more within it will be different but uh, the zone for example in Taldrasses is the world pvp zone for uh, this week so you have a quest for that and i think it should be a daily world pvp quest no matter what so it means that i did this quest tomorrow it should be up like another quest from that zone i don't care if you can farm it too well or not i think it's the best way because it is it, it is logical that you get pvp quests in a pvp zone when the world pvp quest is available for that zone that's my opinion i think it's kind of dumb that it's not the case but again you can do that and yes you can have and you can find groups in lfg for that i think it would be more fun that it is more centralized and known that there would be pvp if it's a wall pvp zone also a suggestion for one of these expansions i don't think it will be for next but they should really implement a world pvp zone like a pure pvp zone where you can pvp duel you can have a huge arena a huge uh, colosseum i think it could be fun i think it could also be fun to have like a real bg made out of 1v1s and like a tour tournament setting so you have 16 players facing facing 1v1s and the finalist gets gets something cool like a cosmetic or whatever or like a box with a chance on a cosmetic that you don't own in tra as a transmog i think that could be very fun i think overall they should so do something like that for example if you are doing a so uh, solo rated uh bgs or solo rated arenas like soul shuffle or whatever uh, if you win like the uh, game you should get the box where you can have um a cosmetic like a transmog piece that you don't have and you're opening it and yes it could be random it could be something bad but it could also be something that you're longing for for so you open it it's rng but you get a transmog you click on it boom it's for all your characters and i think it could be even better for healers for for example in soul shuffle they could have a double box if you're winning the double box if you're winning you get a double box which can have like double the chances of a good transmog piece and they could do something like that and for pve as well so it's pve transmog and pvp transmog so pveers might also want to do soul shuffle and it's encouraged to win so you're not going to play just to play but you have to win those soul shuffles so again it's encouraged that you play the game and in three in, in three three so a draw should also be counted as a win so you should get your two boxes for example so something like this could be happening for soul shuffle where you can then have healers be able to grind something outside of like let's say going 2400 i understand that some people don't like that's that theory of uh getting like transmogs while you're playing but i think it's the best way to improve i, th I think like saying make healers fun again is something very subjective because like again uh for example i never liked healing i think healing in dragonflight was quite fun i am more of a dps though so obviously if you give me tools as a healer to do the damage i'll be just happy if you're like a disc freeze or even resto druid with like boom king form doing rafts like 150k rafts is very fun but i think overall um fun is very subjective so that's my third point with world pvp i think and also like those boxes um also would like to see um and i hope they do that for war within we I, I i am not in alpha so i don't know 
Um, and I'm not really like too much in the loop for like the zones. Uh, they should have like a zone into the capital where it's literally a free for all. So if you're entering entering it, uh, you can you can beat everyone. You can you can fight everyone, and there should be like a gladiator style um, thing where you can queue up and get one v ones like realm wide, not like re like server wide, like region wide. Not really on your only uh, server, like for example Archimon in French or. Uh, for example, Ragnaros in EU, for example. No, you can face anyone, so you can have faster duels, and you can play a lot of PvP, and you're not waiting. For example, um, you can then duel while you're waiting in a queue. So you have something to do. You're not, like, standing in the Valdrak and literally all tabbing and watching YouTube, but you're actively fighting, and you're actively playing, and you're actively doing something with your day which then is going to make you more addict, kind of uh, like the engagement towards the game. And I know that some people don't like to hear, but engagement is very important in games, and you need to be some somewhat of like leeched onto the game, because there are so many games online that you can play, that if the game doesn't give you the incentive to want to play every single day the game, then you're going to play that game elsewhere. And that's the problem with World of Warcraft right now, it feels like it's... It, it's a problem, like it's a rich guy problem, kind of, where you, you, you can play World of Warcraft whenever you want and you don't you didn't really miss too much. Uh, but I feel like some FOMO-ish things should help the game to be better, in my opinion. Uh, I, I think FOMO is something that people don't like to hear that is needed for the game, but it is indeed needed for the game. You need to have the fear of missing out of fun. I think you should be able to say, look, I'm not playing World of Warcraft, I'm playing another game, and goddamn, uh, am I doing a good, like, is, is it good for me to do that? Because I'm missing something, I'm missing fun, I'm missing something that is actually, like, not going to be here the next month or the next two months. But yeah, that's my suggestion. Again, my last suggestion, again, like I already said it multiple times, I think, like, um long like long seasons are bad for the game i think it should be shorter season i think it should be like a three month season instead of a six month season and it doesn't have to follow the raid cadence because it's not oh it's not possible to have a three month raid in, in world of warcraft but sh shorter seasons with more transmog so people can just like farm them up and you can have like tokens where you can have the, the, the transmogs from previous seasons for example if you are working very hard into the the season that you are right now so i think something like that could be happening and you can have a lot of fun with it but again it's 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 depending on the devs if they really want to do something i think most of the things that i said can be implemented right now and other things that I have said, like for example, whole zone or like those transmog in, do, in those chests and such, that requires a bit more work. Uh, but I think if they actually like are thinking about PvP and they want to make you play PvP even throughout like those filler seasons, for example, season four, they need to add more things. I think if they added like a transmog chest where you could like literally play and get transmogs every single time and you could like farm things up or grind things up or have a perspective on what you do, I think that could be very much a good thing for a season four. But right now it feels like season four is a bit like of a slower pace and it, it is what it is at the end of the day. There is Cataclysm, I'm playing Cataclysm as well. Um, but I wish I could play retail. I, I, I want to play retail. I have fun with retail, but the queue times are long. Uh, it feels like I'm playing for kind of nothing because there is no new things. It's just like purely bragging rights, which is fine. Uh, fine. But for me, I'm, I'm playing all my games for bragging rights. I'm playing Age of Empire 4, for example. So it feels like, mm, do I want to put more time in Age of Empire and getting better on it? Or do I want to put time in Season 4 Dragonflight, which will not resemble with War Within anyways because of the multiple balance changes. So you're trading for nothing really. And also, I feel like there is nothing to chase. I don't care about the mount. I don't care about uh, finding a, t a teammate because, again, most of my, my friends are just gone. Uh, and they will come back for War Within, for example. So there is no real incentive for me to stay. Uh, but I understand that some people do have fun and they, they try to play still because they have fun. And that's a good thing. But again, if you ask me if you have fun on multiple things, why choose World of Warcraft? That's how I, that, that's how I live life, for example. If you have multiple things going on 
and you have choices, why would you choose A, B, C, or D? Uh, it will depend on the benefits from choosing those. Although you have fun with four games, if you have to choose one, why would you choose the one that is in a filler season, for example? That's my problem with World of Warcraft. But I had still fun. I think it's still a fantastic game. I think gameplay is really good, but it needs a bit more for me to stay on season four. And that's the main problem I have. Uh, I wish I could uh, just like play and make content on season four, but I am someone that is very passionate and I do things with passion. And I feel like playing season four just for, for my YouTube channel pretty much would be disingenuous. I think uh, my content would be more used onto something that I would like to do and to watch myself. And I think War Within will be hype. I think the beta will be hype once I have it. Uh, Alpha, I think it's quite doomed. I don't get it, but it's whatever. Uh, I wish I can do more, but um, for now, it just is content that are kind of filler also on my YouTube channel. But I look forward to, um, to War Within, for sure. So again, thank you for watching this video. Really, I appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. It is a bit of a slow drought content period, but uh, hopefully I can like entertain you with some things. So be sure to click on the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Um, helps a ton as well. Uh, and again, I'll catch you probably very soon in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.